how to charge your MacBook after replacing a battery. So I'm going to show you all the steps you want to follow. Replacement battery always has 50% charging, so it should be around 50%, can be a little bit less or a little bit more. When you're going to charge it for the first time, you need to use it unless your MacBook goes to the sleep mode or it shuts down. Make sure you also save the work you are doing. So once it goes to the sleep mode or shut down, now we need to close it. Plug in the power adapter and fully charge your MacBook battery until the light ring or the LED on the power adapter plug changes to green. Unplug the power adapter and allow the battery to rest in the fully charged state for at least two hours. Next step is to switch on the MacBook and start using it. Now here the first step is to uh, make the battery performance better for our use. For that we need to open the setting, open the notifications, enable do not disturb when the screen is locked. So that is the second option. Back to the setting again and check for the energy save. Here you will see enable power nap while on battery power. So just make sure you switch it off so you don't have to tick it. Otherwise, it will take more battery even when it is sleeping. Go to the setting again and open the Bluetooth setting and switch off the Bluetooth so that uh, it saves the battery power for that as well. We can also check the battery performance. For that, you just have to go to the Apple icon on the top and click on the about this Mac and then you will see the system report. Click on that and then you can click on the power button and it displays all the information about the battery. Now. Uh, once you do all these settings and check everything now keep working whatever you want to do so that you can use your Mac for the first time after the charging until it goes to the sleep. Next step is to allow your MacBook to sleep for 5 hours or more. The final step is to connect the power adapter and leave it connected until the battery is fully charged again. All these steps are actually to activate the lithium cells so that they can start working and they can hold the charge properly and once you do it you don't have to repeat the whole process again so these are the total six steps which you can follow when you are uh, using your new battery for the first time hopefully it will help you thanks for watching